Watercolour Gesso is an innovation that I've been working on with my friends at Creative Expressions as part of my collaboration with them. They're based in the UK and this is made in the UK. Watercolour Gesso in very basic terms just will turn any surface into a watercolour loving or watercolour media loving surface. You apply it with a brush or you can apply it with an applicator like a scraper or however you would like to apply it. And it gives whatever paper surface you're using the type of finish that's way more accepting of watercolour but also of all other media. The reason I wanted to add this to my collection and we worked on this formula was I love collecting up gorgeous little journals from my travels but very often the paper is very specialized and not accepting of the type of medias that I like to work in. In particular I love going to Japan and when I'm there I always come back with a couple of little prayer books. These are the accordion type that stretch out. The paper is beautiful. It's usually a washi type rice paper based paper it works okay with some inks like a sumi type of ink but for everything else it can be quite absorbent and everything you put on it bleeds and depending on the book itself it can be a little bit delicate there's also those beautiful leather bound books that especially come from india that very often have beautiful hand stamping in them all handmade beautiful looking but again the paper it's um, it just it doesn't feel nice with to me just in my personal opinion it's too soft for colored pencil it's not it's okay for ballpoint pen and not much else but only in my opinion so adding the watercolor gesso which is like I said an acrylic paint you let it completely dry and then you got this very reliable predictable surface that you are working on top of which I find just opens up those creativity channels because I'm not having to be bossed around and told what I can and cannot use with my art supplies by the paper itself I am the boss of the paper this isn't a pulp a watercolour pop that's another kind of thing that I might do in the future but that is where you've actually got cotton or wood pulp suspended in an acrylic paste an acrylic suspension and you're sort of create putting paper on paper or paper on a surface that's not what this is because that doesn't behave like watercolour paper either so with the watercolour gesso you're not making it into a watercolour paper you are making it into a very watercolour friendly background. The difference between watercolour gesso and my usual joyful gessos is that this is even matter um, and it has this beautiful brilliant white. It's quite opaque and it, it just is purpose built for watercolor in particular whereas the joyful gessos really are as an acrylic gesso acrylic loves acrylic and gesso is a form of acrylic it's just it's a, an acrylic medium just like matte medium is an acrylic just with no color in it at all the gessos are ultra matte paints essentially and the watercolor gesso is a specialty of that that is particularly loving of watercolor where your normal gessos aren't built for that so it becomes a very exciting thing to use so on the screen so far I've been using my water wands which are aquarelles or watercolor pencils so just watercolor in a stick form fabulous to sketch with and then when you add more watercolor over the top part of the line may remain to depending on how much water you add and some of it will turn into watercolor and go wafting off with whatever it is that you're creating so it creates a very lovely look for you now if this was just the normal paper that came in this journal the 
it would behaving, be behaving very, very differently. I couldn't add this much water to it. Whereas now that I've got my base, my foundation layer, I can add as much water as I like. I can do what I want. I don't have to think about the foundational support. I know that I can trust it and it's going to do exactly what I want it to do. I'm also using, these are the little Art Time watercolours, the tiny little palettes, the pigments, or the pigment in the watercolours, as you can see, there's lots and lots of juice in them for you. So although they're very small, this is what makes them very portable. Portable. It even comes this little tiny palette with a wrist strap, so you can actually wear it on your wrist. It's very Inspector Gadget to, <laughs> I was at the pyramids in Egypt, it's hot, I didn't want to be carrying anything because, you know, we're walking from pyramid to pyramid, inside pyramids, outside pyramids. Who knows what the day will bring? Might jump on a camel, go galloping around the desert. Who knows? Go and pat the Sphinx. The day is open. But I've got my watercolours on my wrist, ready at a moment's notice, a water brush in my bag and a, just a piece of watercolour paper. And I can be creative wherever the mood strikes me and it struck me there at the foot of the pyramids and I was able to just paint so anyway that's the art time watercolors there's two different sets there there's the artemology set uh, which has all those beautiful more pastel colors and the other set's got very traditional painting colors that you usually find in a starter palette and uh, all the mixing colors so you've got all the bases covered the fancifuls and the foundational building blocks of colour. And I'm mixing my watercolour pencils in amongst the watercolour just to get all sorts of different effects. Now this might be a handy comparison. This is in one of my watercolour paper journals. So I don't need to add watercolour gesso to the paper because the paper loves watercolour already anyway. But you do get a different effect and uh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> so on the left is the paper of the journal and on the right is uh, the side of the page where I've applied the watercolour gesso. And you can see how the colours appear a bit brighter. That's because it's whiter. And also the, there's a lot more detail being held when the watercolour dries. So you could even apply this to areas of your painting where you wanted really fine detail or if you are painting something that you wanted to really have that watercolor look and you want to use watercolor but you do want it to hold a little bit more detail and knowing that the paper that you might be using isn't the type that will hold detail every single water paper color paper is a little bit different in the way that it holds detail and holds the line and how much flowing the watercolors do this is another tool that will just add to your creative experimentation. And this is another comparison uh, in a watercolour journal. So it's got watercolour paper underneath. And I'm using not just watercolour, but introducing other media as well. In the first column there is the paper. The second column is the watercolour gesso. The third column is some of my plain white opaque gesso. And in the fourth column is my matte medium, which is the collage medium. So you can use matte medium, the clear collage medium, medium, Y-U-M, because it's so delicious, but don't actually eat it, just yum as in creatively yum. You can use that, I use it mainly as a glue, but you can also use it as a surface and turn whatever surface it is into something that's going to behave more predictably more predictably because it's got that acrylic all those acrylic properties to it and all of these things you can in my brand anyway use your watercolor on they got there is of course they're receptive to all of those things because I use watercolor all the time so you can see how the different mediums let the colors shine uh, differently so I find just the regular gesso you get a, a bit more granulation happening so if that's something that you really love and want to emphasize you could use that as your substrate uh, like I said the watercolor gesso holds detail and the watercolors 
it lets them stand their ground a little bit more than what they usually can. On watercolour paper, they tend to flow together and all become, wherever they touch, they really blend, which can be absolutely glorious. But sometimes you might want to hold more detail because you're working on something more detailed. That's when you go, okay, watercolour gesso will be my friend. And each one of these things is just going to, it just expands your creative toolkit. And the wonderful thing about art supplies and artists and creative people is that the way that we use things is all a little bit different to each other. And actually, I'll just also say, I've got a mixed media group on Facebook and it's where you can share artwork that you've created using any of Jane Davenport uh, media. And I can get to see what it is that you're doing. You can tell other people about your discoveries of how you enjoy using things because although you may feel that what you're doing is the way everyone must be using things, I can guarantee you that it's not. And you're probably doing something really amazing and special. And why not inspire other people and share your discoveries? So even if you don't have the watercolour gesso, if you haven't ever done a little test uh, on your favourite watercolour paper or in your favourite journal, doesn't have to be watercolour paper, whatever it is that you have, why not do a test like this? So I'll show you how I set it up. Uh, I've got just the normal paper at the front where I don't paint anything on it. Then another column for whatever other medium I want to try. So here I've got my clear collage medium. Then I've got the watercolour gesso and the opaque white gesso. Very important to write down <laughs> at the top what it is that you are testing because you won't remember once everything's dry. And then just use all of your favorite mediums over the top and something else to just be aware of is where you've got say for instance where I've got that clear collage medium at the front and you've popped that down sometimes the watercolor because that is a raised surface next to the paper next to it or if you've got uh, areas in between each column that have got paper sometimes your watercolor or whatever it is that you're using will drift off and fall down the sides. So in between the things may look a little bit darker and might be giving you a little bit of a false positive. So you might think, oh, it might look more pigmented on the watercolour paper. And it's not that. It's just that that's where it's pulling and it, it can't keep travelling. So you get a little bit of a darker ridge there. So, But when you're actually painting these things out for yourself, you can see what's happening and you can see the reactions and... None of them are good or bad. All of them just are what they are and something for you to add to your toolkit because at some point, each of those reactions will be exactly what you would like to add. On the right-hand side of the page, I've also put down some of the watercolour gesso already. It's all dry, of course. And just rather than washing my brush off every time I fill it up with media and you know rinsing it away and wasting it, I'm just having a free-for-all page on the other side so that I can see exactly how things react and just it's all learning. It's all learning. Um, as you are creating your columns, try and keep the same amount of media on each of the bars so that you really do get a true reckoning of what is going to work, what turns out darker, what turns out lighter, what where do the colours are mixed more freely and where do the colours sit and stay or hold their detail? All of these different aspects, again, it's just extra creative tools for you to keep using and playing with and learning from. You could also add some of the coloured Joyful Gessos. You could try with other acrylic paint as well, other brands, but... A lot of acrylic paint isn't receptive to watercolour. It's okay, but if it has a satin or a gloss finish, uh, which is more common, uh, it just the water uh, it'll just watercolours and water media tend to bead up on it and just can't really set. Um, which you, again you can use as an effect, but with my watercolour, sorry, with my joyful gessos. Uh, in all of their colours, it's an ultra matte paint that loves 
watercolour as well. So it, the, the colours are going to change on top of other colours. Of course, you're going to get all sorts of other experimental effects. But experimental is the key word here because all of those things that you discover are something that you can use in your artwork. And because of the way that I use my creative time and my art for myself to help rebalance me and just help me keeping feeling like me, I, I put so much emphasis on the experience of creating, creating itself and not just the processes that are going on in my mind and what my body is doing to create my art but also the feeling that I'm getting as I create it physically from my art supplies, the way things travel across paper, the way watercolour lifts off a watercolour pencil and then I can apply it back onto my page, um, the feeling of the pencil going across the watercolour gesso, across different papers, all of these things are monumentally important to me because they all go towards the the greater art or creative experience. So making that process as enjoyable and pleasant and delightful as possible, I put great stead in, I put great research in and great energy into. So the feeling of the watercolour gesso as I'm using it is really, really important to me and how not just the end result, but the whole process, even applying it is actually a beautiful experience. And usually, usually you're just putting white paste on a white paper. Or, you know, anyone watching would be like, what, who cares? If you've ever applied gesso on something, you know that swoosh, swoosh feeling, that buttery, lovely feeling. And it's the start of possibilities and, and that window opening to let the creative muse in and just relax and enjoy and create something, whatever it is. That's completely up to you, of course. I love drawing faces. So <laughs> these people come to visit me every time I pick up a pen. And just as a total aside, this white paint pen, seriously, so this is one of the brush with fame pens. So everything's named after the celebrity world. It's very tongue in cheek and the name of this white is veneers uh its best friend is uh black limo and uh which is the black version obviously and then there's three other sets oh and there's a silver and gold silver fox and gold digger but that white oh to just add that little sparkly white highlight back into the eyes so much fun and just as an again another point in passing that particular pencil i'm using at the moment is one of my water wands is a color called lionfish which is from the tropical reef set oh it's not quite purple not quite brown and it's just fantastic so the watercolor gesso itself comes in two sizes as soon as i we, we worked on this little pot and as soon as I got it, I was just, this isn't going to be enough. It's the first time I used my very first sample of it. I just was like, no, this, I need more. We need the bigger pot. So I keep the little pot on my desk and I refill it from the big pot. And uh, I just go through as much of it as I can because the more I go through, the more painting I'm doing. And that's all good. I sometimes pre-prepare a complete journal before I start using it. Uh, or travel with it because like I said I love collecting these lovely journals from other places but the paper's not reliable enough for me but now I can just spend a little bit of time here and there preparing things and then I've got a wonderful wonderful experience ahead of me as I fill my pages with whatever it is that I want to create and I of course keep talking about art journals because that's what I enjoy doing but you can use this on canvases or larger surfaces or single paintings and <laughs> of course the Jess O is spelt Jess O because oh it's just so fantastic and gesso in general but my gessos in particular and I love gesso so much my dog is called gesso 
she's looking at me right now because she thought I called her. So wherever you are, have a great day. Do lots of art, please. And you, you can find the watercolour gesso at janedavenport.com or wherever creative expressions, art supplies are stocked. <laughs>